As students worldwide return to school, it's likely that many will be e-learning in some capacity for hours each day on their digital devices. While our devices can be fantastic tools for entertainment and education, the postural effects are something that all parents should be aware of. For many students, e-learning may increase neck, mid-back and low back pain. Kids spending six or more hours each day looking down at their digital devices can profoundly affect their mental, social and physical health. It can also lead to the development of tech neck syndrome. This forward head posture often places tremendous stress on the neck, uh, also called the cervical spine, and it can lead to an increase in headaches, back and neck pain. How does this happen? Poor posture compromises the natural curves of the spine, leading to altered biomechanics. When these changes occur in the spine, it places stresses on muscles, ligaments and discs, and if severe, can cause pinched nerves later in life. The good news is that this can be prevented. If you take care of your body and seek help from a chiropractor or physio when necessary, there should be no reason for pain. Chiropractors in the UK have seen an increase in children with issues linked to screen time. Low back pain is the third most common form of pain interfering with schoolwork. It's estimated that half of school-aged children present with posture disorders and nearly the same number experience back pain from prolonged sitting. Making it a habit to look up through the day is a good way uh, to reduce the effects of tech neck. Encourage your child to do this exercise. Pull your chin back, stretch your arms out and open up wide, looking up to the ceiling. Hold for 20 to 30 seconds. Try and repeat this stretch every hour or so to help reset your posture and body position. And if your child spends every day at their computer, computer learning or gaming, be sure to teach them this stretch and then book a visit here at Sundial. We'll provide you with a full postural based movement assessment to identify any potential issues to help reduce their chance of suffering from tech neck syndrome. Thanks for watching.